Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. We're live here in Washington, D.C., inside the U.S. Capitol building, as you can see right behind me. We are here for the State of the Union address tonight, where President Donald Trump will give his State of the Union address tonight around 9 p.m. Let's begin with my news report for this morning. Government full bus State of the Union ticket with major typo. Let's take a listen to the video. This is the 2018 Matan Classic Collection lineup. New classic style 13s, 17s, and 21s built right here in New England by the restoration leader, Matan Marine. Come see the new great retro boats along with Matan's latest restoration in the Matan booth number 191 at this year's New England Boat Show, taking place at the Boston Convention and Expedition Center. Meet the creator, Mike Borelli, along with a host of Ship Shape TV, the G Man. Opening weekend, Saturday and Sunday, February 10th and 11th. Meet the new legend in New England, Matan Classic Collection. We are going to get the latest from President Trump right now. He's preparing to give his first State of the Union address, and he's weighed in on a broad range of issues in a new interview. Chief White House correspondent John Carl has the story. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. White House officials say the President's State of the Union address will be optimistic and inclusive, but in that new interview, he is saying that his first year was disruptive by design. Depending on who you talk to, you're either delivering on a lot of your promises beginning to make America great, or you're a raging, tweeting wrecking ball who's destroying the country and terrifying the entire planet. Yeah. How do you, how do you plead? Well, I plead not guilty. What happened? To all of it? Well, I the think... The second bit. No, I think I shake things up. It had to be shaken up. It was the ultimate friendly interview. The president sitting down with former Celebrity Apprentice winner Piers Morgan, who had an unusual way of asking about the women who have protested President Trump in record numbers. Are you a feminist? No, I wouldn't say I'm a feminist. I mean, if I think that would be maybe going too far. I'm, I'm for women, I'm for men, I'm for everyone. The president revealed a bit about his tweeting habits. Are you actually lying in bed with your phone? Working out how to wind everybody up. Well, perhaps sometimes in bed and for perhaps sometimes at breakfast or lunch or whatever. The White House says the State of the Union address tomorrow night will show a president who cares about all Americans. But his critics aren't buying it. Rapper Jay-Z over the weekend attacked Trump for using a vulgar slur to describe African countries. It's really hurtful because it's like you're looking down on a whole population of people and you're so misinformed because these places have beautiful people and have beautiful everything. Um, and it's just like this is the leader of the free world speaking like this. That prompted a response from President Trump via Twitter. Somebody please inform Jay-Z that because of my policies, black unemployment has just been reported to be at the lowest rate ever recorded. That's a theme you can expect the president to hit in his State of the Union address. As for that vulgar slur, uh, the administration is confirming that the president sent a letter out to members of, Af of the African Union, all the countries in the African Union, saying, quote, the United States deeply respects the people of Africa and my commitment to a strong and respectful relationships with African states as sovereign nations is firm. So a little bit of damage control continuing on that, George. John, let's talk a little bit about the State of the Union. You said it's going to be optimistic and inclusive, according to White House says. I think one of the big questions is going to be, does the president have bipartisan policies that go with that inclusive message? Well, he's going into a chamber that is as deeply divided as we have ever seen Congress, George. There is a bottom line reality in the president will not be able to get anything done this year if he cannot do it in a bipartisan way. Remember, that majority in the Senate is now a single vote majority. He needs Democrats if he's going to get anything done at all. We will be watching tomorrow night. I'm going to be anchoring our live coverage of the president's address, joined by our entire political team tomorrow at 9 Eastern right here on ABC. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And also, even before President Donald Trump's first State of the Union address Tuesday, things got off to a rocky start with government officials sending out tickets containing one glaring typo. The word union was misspelled. And 
here is a photo of that ticket with the word union misspelled with an M on it. And that does it for my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and we'll have your coverage of the State of the Union tonight at 9 p.m. right here on the Riley King Network. Have a great rest of your day. I'll be back with another news report later on today. Goodbye, everyone.